Why is my crosshair so big? Why do I jump on spacebar? And why do I pull out any grenades? Well, I can't buy them, buy them right now with keys. Very, very confusing stuff. Oh wait, this is either a new device, a second account, in this case, obviously a second account. And how am I going to get my settings back? Well, I could just go through the settings and do everything over and over again, but we all know We've put so much effort into our settings, we just want to port them over. So let's get right to it. All right, guys. So the very first thing you want to do is you're going to get back on your old device. You're going to log over to your main account. Maybe you're already logged in. You don't need to be in game for this. I just like being in game and also you can see clearly that I have another crosshair here. The other settings are not as visible, maybe the view model. And yeah, the very first thing we do here, you can be like I said, you can also do this in the main menu. You want to type host underscore or English keyboard, very sorry for that, write config. And if you send this, you already see the first difference to CSGO. Back in CSGO, you had, or at least in the beginning days, I don't know how it was uh, recently, like close the last year before the swap over, but uh, it used to be like this that you had one config or that you can make multiple configs and load them with exec. The same way, if you are going to write your own config, I'm gonna show you where you do this. Uh, you can load it with exec and then I don't know, config or one, two, three or whatever you're gonna name it. And still, if you are going to name it auto exec, uh, auto exec.cfg, your file it is still going to be automatically launched. So why do you write this? As you can see, you create different files now. The next step is going to be to find those files. In order to find the just created files, you want to head to your Steam folder, not your Steam apps folder, like not your library for games. You can have that separately, like I have on my D and my E some Steam games. You want to go to your core Steam, wherever you set up Steam. If you don't remember or don't know, it is probably going to be like this in C, Programs 86, in Steam and now in Steam, this is now we meet up with the people that know where the Steam folder is. Uh, here in Steam, we want to go to the user data. Now, these numbers are pretty interesting. How do you know from which number to which number you want to transfer? Maybe you've not logged in into too much stuff yet, not used Steam too much on your new computer, then this is going to be only one folder. It's going to be obvious if you have multiple folders. Let me show you where you get the idea from which folders is which. To find this out, you simply need to go into your inventory. And in your inventory, you want to go to trade offers. This is also where you get your trade link. We want actually to look for the trade link. Who can send me trade offers if you didn't know already. And down here in the trade link, as you can see, there's this code 15606 and so on. And if you go back in the folder, you will notice there's actually also a folder with the exact same numbers. So we can be pretty certain that this is the folder for my main Steam account. So what we can do now, uh, we go into the folder for our Steam, main Steam account and now you're going to have a lot of new IDs. And these IDs are as far as I know for different games. There's also one, I think it's 760 for screenshots. Counter-Strike and all the other games like 730 must be added yeah, so the, if you ever wondered uh, this is where you can find your screenshots also in 760. 730 is Counter-Strike you all want to go for your ID and then always 730 like this varies this does not and now in here it used to be like this you had this like one CFG we already talked about it if we go into local CFG uh, you will see this changed you have the config like it used to be up here yeah this is also where you can just get a new uh, text document name it cfg in the end and then you can start making your own config if you want to do it i don't really see the reason right now because you have the options of workshop maps and console commands to literally make anything work and most of the stuff that used to need a config or you wanted to have in a config like a buy config or like uh, grenade binds that is now already or quick switch bind or jump throw bind all the stuff you don't need anymore it is integrated in counter-strike so with all these files now the question is which copy uh, i do it like this 
you also have uh, the you have the remote and the local and while the local is your uh, config like your process settings your view model and stuff like that and remote is more like uh, your keybinds and I think also your by loadouts no yeah your loadout favorites and stuff like that so what I like to do I go on the 730 and I just copy everything and I go over I'm just pressing back twice here and I'm back at the selection from the different profiles and I already looked it up 168 and so on is my second account so I'm going into that folder I'm gonna open up Counter-Strike once again and now I'm just make backups by the way always make backups also this host write config and this method of putting one config to another you can also use to just take your config and save it somewhere like make a separate folder somewhere you won't regret it in back in CSGO CSGO sometimes just reset my config and I came online very hard to play Counter-Strike and I literally wanted to rage quit and close down the game immediately after because without your known settings Counter-Strike feels like trash so in here second account I'm just gonna go rid of everything I've already made a backup anyway and I'm gonna put in the stuff from my other account so now let's take a look if we switch accounts what is going to happen all right guys there we are over at the second account let's see ah i can already see when i pull out my glock it's the new crosshair from the other account so it worked perfectly fine and i can also jump with mouse wheel i can crouch with spacebar now i can pull out the grenades don't judge me for the spacebar one Pasha Biceps used to do this in 2016 and still didn't get too used to. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching. If there's anything unclear you need help with, you can always hit me up in the comment section down below. And thanks for your support. Hopefully see you in another video.